This young family decided to go on a trip around South America with their children for the first time. They asked someone passing by to take a picture of them. It looks like a nice photo, with tender views and mountains in the background. True, but this photo is not normal at all. That night when they returned to the hotel and looked at their photos again, they didn't notice anything unusual at first. But when the father took a closer look at the photo again, he couldn't believe his eyes. This was not the first time they'd made this trip. About five years ago, they were in the exact same place, but without their beautiful children. But this time, things didn't go as expected. Ben and Jill were hiking in the mountains of Peru for the first time when it happened. It started with a small rumble in Jill's stomach. Maybe I ate something that hurt me, she thought. But soon, the sound turned into a piercing pain in her gut. After three kilometers, Jill collapsed in agony right where the photo was taken five years later. Ben didn't like that scene at all. He didn't hesitate for a moment and immediately called the emergency services. But the place where Jill was in that agonizing pain was far away and hard to get to. It took more than an hour for the ambulance helicopter to arrive. Jill had passed out a few times, but luckily, Ben managed to wake her up each time. He pretended to look calm for his girlfriend, but inside of him he felt panic. I tried to be there for her, so she had to look strong. I didn't know what was going on. The helicopter flight seemed to take forever. Fortunately, Jill managed to stay conscious, but she told them that the pain was unbearable. A little pain in my stomach is one thing, but never in my entire life have I experienced such pain in my life, she said. When the helicopter landed, hospital staff rushed to help her. Immediately, they put ventilation on her, as the extremely high altitude in the mountains had caused Jill to hyperventilate a bit. Ben had to watch helplessly as his girlfriend was admitted to the hospital on one of those stretchers. How come she'd gotten sick like that? From one moment to another. The doctor asked Ben a lot of questions. What's she been eating on vacation? Is there any illness in her family? Has she fallen these days? Ben didn't have a definite answer to each question and little by little he felt worse and worse. He was totally distraught. They got on a stretcher there and soon the doctor disappeared behind the doors of his office. Ben was alone. Him, alone in a foreign country with his critically ill girlfriend. He was the only one in the waiting room. His girlfriend had disappeared behind the cold concrete walls and Ben sat on a green plastic chair while he sweated with anxiety. He felt powerless. The minutes seemed like hours and it was a long time before he heard from Jill. Ben tried to calm down but worst case scenarios flashed through his mind. Just as Ben walked over to the reception's desk for the fifth time to ask how much longer it was going to take, the doors to the doctor's office swung open. Ben ran into the office in a panic and feared the worst, but then the doctor broke the news to him. The abdominal pain was not a disaster, but a small miracle. She's almost three months pregnant. Ben and Jill looked at each other in astonishment and burst into tears. The rest of the trip in Peru would have to wait because the future had beautiful things in store for both of them. Unfortunately, they didn't have the opportunity to enjoy for a long time. Suddenly, the doctor ended their celebration with some bad news. During the physical, we found something else. The baby's totally healthy, but we need to talk to you and your wife. The room was silent, and Jill and Ben listened intently to what the doctor had to say. While doing the ultrasound, the doctor found a lump that was right next to one of Jill's vertebrae. The tumor was not malignant, but the growth of the uterus could cause the tumor to compress important nerves, causing Jill to go blind. Both of them were finally faced with an impossible decision. Fulfill their dream of having children or protect Jill's health. Ben and Jill left the hospital full of questions. Was their child's life worth going blind for? For days, they thought about this dilemma, but they also knew they couldn't wait long. For every moment they did nothing, the tumor put more and more pressure on Jill's nerves. They had to act quickly and make a decision. Jill hugged her belly and looked at Ben with a piercing look. Call the hospital. They both decided to keep the baby. However, in the months that followed, the consequences of her pregnancy began to be very painful. Jill's vision had deteriorated rapidly. And where she could still move around the house very carefully, after a few months, she couldn't see a thing at all. She needed help not only for her but for the health of her son. One misstep could have serious consequences. Until one day, she fell to the ground. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. Ben picked her up and they made the best decision of their life. They decided to bring a guide dog. The lovely golden retriever brought life to Jill. 
she gained confidence in her body and went through the entire pregnancy like a champ. But then came the big moment. Her biological clock was 40 weeks and Jill's water broke. Ben and the dog were playing in the garden when he heard Jill's voice yelling from the house, We have to go to the hospital now. When they arrived, Ben was alone in the waiting room, exactly as he was six months ago in Peru. Now, for another reason, but definitely no less nervous. Fortunately, the faithful Bruno was always there to accompany him. The doors opened. Congratulations, you're the father of a beautiful boy, the doctor told him. Ben and Bruno hurried into the room where Jill was exhausted but smiling. Ben first approached his newborn son when the doctor suddenly put a hand on his shoulder. And this is not the only good news. When Jill's uterus shrank, the pressure from the tumor also decreased, and as a result, she miraculously regained her vision. We removed the tumor immediately, and both mother and child are healthy, the doctor said. Ben couldn't believe what he was hearing. He flung himself into Jill's arms and kissed her forehead. Bruno was barking too. However, his was not barks of joy, but pain. Bruno looked at Ben and Jill and fell to the ground. They had no time to react because before they knew it, Bruno was lying on the hospital floor. Ben and Jill panicked and asked the doctor to check the doctor out right away. He's dead, the doctor confirmed. He took a deeper look and gave Ben and Jill advice, not from a doctor, but from a human being. This dog was old, right? The doctor asked. Yes, Ben said. Bruno was an elderly guide dog who in recent years wanted to contribute positively to Jill's very difficult time. Ah, I understand, said the doctor. Looks like Bruno had been hoping to finish his work, the doctor said. It's very rare, but it is possible. Guide dogs have a much stronger bond with their owners than an ordinary dog. That's why, while the owner needs help, they'll never show their pain. Guide dogs are very carefully paired with their handlers. Everything from a person's lifestyle, hobbies, activity level, family living arrangements, and other pets go into the pairing process when a person applies for a guide dog through a nonprofit organization. And that's what happened in the case of Bruno also, and that helped Jill a lot. And it seems that Bruno had developed some kind of bond and love to this family, and he struggled against his old age until he made sure that Jill is fine. Probably Bruno already felt bad, but he wanted to be present at the birth of his beautiful son. Ben and Jill looked at each other and burst into tears. Five years have passed and the family's getting bigger. Little Peter now has a younger sister named Eva, and they've built a beautiful and healthy family capable of overcoming any obstacle together. Therefore, they decided to continue with the old tradition and travel to Peru as planned. The dazzling nature that Jill had fallen in love with, she'd now see in her children's eyes as well. The family had dedicated the holidays to Bruno, the dog who gave them the strength to persevere there. However, when they looked back at the vacation photo, they saw something fantastic. The trees, in the background, seemed to have a face shape when seen in the light. It looked exactly like Bruno when he was living with them. And Jill began to cry. It was as if she was recapping her life all over again. If she'd made the decision to abort, they would not have had their beloved Bruno or their little kids, Peter and Eva. This vacation would not have been dedicated to the sweetest dog in the world. Of course, there could be, but it wouldn't have been worth it. It seems that Bruno never left them, and his soul was all around protecting them and their little kids. He even showed up in their vacation in a mysterious way, and he appeared in the photos of the vacation so that they could all have a picture together forever. I now have a fabulous life with two beautiful children and the memory of my hero Bruno. So you can see that choosing to live for someone else, even if the risk to yourself is great, can still bear fruit, Jill said. Admitting that sometimes you are afraid is not a weakness, but find the strength to make the best decision towards wonderful people. It's the best you can ever do. Well, friends, that's the end of this incredible story. We hope, as always, that it's been to your liking. If you liked it, give us a like, leave us your valuable comment, share on your social networks, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell so that you're always notified when we have a new video. And in this way, you don't miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us in the next one.